There are but a few men in the history of humanity who have accumulated fortunes like that of Andrew Carnegie, a man who was as complex as he was rich. After selling his company, his net worth would equal a staggering 2% of America's GDP. But in 1901, Carnegie grew tired of the game and wanted to spend time with his wife and daughter. Financier J.P. Morgan was a rising competitor in the steel industry, and Carnegie, now nearing 70, became open to the idea of selling the company he'd spent his entire life building. Charles Schwab, the president of Carnegie Steel, delivered the offer to Morgan. J.P. Morgan glanced at the offer and, without hesitation, accepted it. Morgan would buy Carnegie Steel for $480 million, making Carnegie the single richest man in the world. Carnegie would completely cut ties with his business life and dedicate 100% of himself to serving the world through philanthropy. 